Hi, and welcome to my Serbia travel video and my top 20 tips for the best Serbian food. If you are planning to travel in Europe and are wondering what to eat in Europe and what tasty local traditional food to try in beautiful Serbia, this Serbia video is for you. This was my first time in Serbia and I discovered some of the best European food I had on my trip. I found lots of amazing street food I like and was able to get a taste of the mouth-watering traditional food in the country. Serbia features some of the best European dishes and any good video on Serbia will of course have to cover the many amazing dishes. Now, like in many countries in the Balkans, you will find meat dishes everywhere. Whether it's the famous Cevapi, Pliskavica or Karaj or Jevashnitsla, you have to try this in Serbia. But there are some really tasty vegetarian options available as well, like the refined sarma cabbage rolls, a fluffy like gibanica, fresh shopska salad or sweet omarjice pastry. This Serbia travel video has chapters, so please feel free to jump to the parts that are most interesting for you. So let's get to some of the really nice food in Europe and explore my personal top 20 best Serbian food recommendations. Let's start this Europe food special on Serbia with a Serbian breakfast classic, a gibanica. Although it is a common sight all across the Balkans, gibanica is mainly associated with Serbia. It is a traditional pie-like dish that combines filo dough with a creamy combination of cheese and eggs. This pie-like dish can be prepared in both sweet and savory versions, depending on the region and personal preferences. In Serbia, gibanica is usually accompanied with yogurt and makes a perfect breakfast staple. Served sliced, it is also a very popular cold appetizer on festive occasions. Gibanica is not only good Eastern European food, it's also quite filling. A couple of slices of gibanica during breakfast will fill you up for much of the day. Here's another idea of what to try in Europe for breakfast, krofne. Krofne are airy filled fried pastries that are round and usually filled with jelly or marmalade. They are super delicious treats that can be eaten at any time of the year but are a favorite with locals, especially before the Great Lent begins. Orthodox Christians observe Cheese Fair Sunday, which is the last day dairy products can be eaten two days prior to Shroff Tuesday. Krofne, palacinke, and other fried and rich foods are usually eaten then. The name comes from the German Krapfen and is a variation of the Central European pastry known as the Berliner. They are also similar to beignets and donuts, and you can find them in most good pekaras, Serbian bakeries. Let's get to a real Serbian food classic, Pliskavica. Pliskavica is a classic Serbian national dish and there is no way you can leave Serbia without having had at least one. It is a flat, round patty, usually made from minced beef, pork or veal, or a combination of the three, with the addition of selected seasonings such as paprika, salt and pepper. If you think that's just another average burger patty, you are very wrong. While Pliskavica looks like a simple dish, it is nevertheless hard to master as the ratio of meat and fat is extremely important in the preparation process. Flavorable and juicy, the patties are grilled on both sides to a smoky brown color with typical grill marks on both sides. It is usually put inside a thick flatbread called lepinha, which we'll talk more about later, and topped with kajmak, a rich local cream cheese that we will also cover in more detail later in this video. The bread is as important as the meat, as it should not be too dry, cold, nor crumbly, but moist, springy and warm. Perfect pliskavica should be juicy, perfectly spiced, and preferably topped with. In restaurants, it is often served with Serbian potato salad, french fries, or Serbian mixed salad. If you don't eat pork, you will need to ask the chef about what meat is used. I have found that often a mix of beef and pork is used, which didn't work for me, but I have also found quite a few excellent restaurants and halal fast food stalls that only use beef for the pliskavica. Are you ready for more meat? Then here's another must-have dish when in Serbia, cevapi. Cevapi are easy to make, grilled sausages you will find all across southeastern Europe, but they are particularly popular in Serbia. Made of the same meat mixture as pliskavica, cevapi burst with smoky flavor and are usually served with flatbread and sliced onions. Cevapi, sometimes also called cevapici, are hand-shaped, caseless sausages that originated in the Balkans during the time of the Ottoman Empire. If you check out my video on food in Istanbul, you can see the Turkish influence in the similarity of cevapi to the Turkish kofta kebab, which is a mixed meat sausage that is molded onto skewers for easy grilling.
While you will find an overwhelming selection of meat dishes in Serbia, there are also a few vegetarian options available. Another dish that is inspired by traditional Turkish cuisine, sarma, are cabbage rolls that consist of a filling that is snugly surrounded by leaves or leafy vegetables. There are numerous versions of this dish and you will find both meat and vegetarian options. The filling mixture typically combines ingredients such as minced meat, rice or bulgur, various herbs, seasonings, red pepper, paprika and tomato sauce. But the typical wrapping usually includes wine, cabbage or sauerkraut leaves or a variety of leafy vegetables such as collard greens and Swiss chard. Although it is commonly enjoyed as a filling lunch or dinner, especially during the winter season, sarma is often also prepared on special occasions and holidays. Srpska salata literally means Serbian salad and is essentially a variation of the famous Bulgarian Srpska salad, which you will find all across southeastern Europe, including in Serbia. Serbian salad is made with tomatoes, cucumbers, raw and roasted peppers, and onions, and just leaves out the salted cheese topping that is added in Shopska salad. The vegetables are mixed together, then seasoned with salt and pepper and drizzled with oil and vinegar before consumption. The salad is especially popular in summer due to its refreshing flavors. It has become my staple food during my time in Serbia, especially when I felt I had a bit of a meat overdose from too much chivapi. Karaj or Javar Nisla is another traditional Serbian dish that consists of a veal or pork cutlet that is filled with kajmak, then rolled in breadcrumbs and fried in hot oil. The cutlet was created in 1956 by a chef Mita Jovanovic, who would later become a personal chef to Josip Broz Tito, the president of the former Republic of Yugoslavia. The dish is named after the Serbian prince Karaj George, but is also known as Maiden's Dream, which makes a rather obvious reference to its appearance. Today, the dish is a staple of many traditional restaurants and is typically accompanied by roasted potatoes, a lemon wedge and tartar sauce on the side. I found it a bit more difficult to find a halal version of Kara Georgieva Znitsla in Serbia, but they do exist, especially in the south where larger Muslim populations live. It's time for something sweet again. How about a nice warm cherry pie? Pita Viznia is a cherry pie that is made with phyllo pastry and sour cherries. These pies are especially popular during cherry picking season when many families prepare them after picking and pitting cherries from the gardens. But it can also be found in many pekaras all across Serbia. What I particularly liked about Pita Viznia is their sweet, but not too sweet, yet tangy taste. You can also find other varieties of pita in Serbia, including savory versions with meat, spinach or mushroom fillings. Another yummy dish in Eastern Europe are stuffed peppers, punjene papriki, typically served with mashed potatoes or sometimes rice or just consumed as a snack to go. Stuffed peppers are a hearty dish of minced meat and rice, but you can also find vegetarian versions of stuffed peppers. They are popular across Southeastern Europe and are also inspired by Turkish cuisine. Are you ready for another must-try food when in Serbia? Borek cannot be ignored when traveling in Southeastern Europe, and it's a favorite staple in Serbia too. It's simple, delicious and filling. Yet another dish that has Turkish origins, Borek can be found in any prakara or bakery in Serbia. Initially, Borek was brought over to niche in the 15th century and was prepared as a round pie. I got myself a variation of Borek called Pazarske Mantije, which is a Serbian dish originated from Novi Pazar. This dish resembles the classic borek in flavor, but the shape is quite different, as it's shaped into small spheres that are arranged in a baking pan and baked together. The dough is first stretched, brushed with butter, then stuffed with ground beef, salt, pepper, onions, and a bit of oil. Once stuffed, the dough is shaped into small balls, arranged in a pan, then baked, traditionally in old furnaces, which give them a unique flavor and aroma. Mantilla, often also accompanied by yogurt, that's poured over them and eaten while still hot. Speaking of baking classics, the piña cannot be left out of any good video on Serbia when it comes to food staples. The piña is a yeast-raised, spongy flatbread that's popular all over the Balkans and similar to pide or pita. It's usually made with a combination of flour, water, salt and yeast. 
Once the dough has been prepared, it's baked in the oven at high temperatures. As mentioned earlier, the bread is often used as a wrap for chibapi, but is also eaten for breakfast or served in bread baskets during lunch or dinner. A great spread to eat with lipinha is ajwar. Ajwar is a traditional and very popular peppers and eggplants condiment that you will find all over the Balkans in Eastern Europe. Ajwar is made with red bullhorn pepper, hot pepper, eggplant and garlic, all in variable amounts depending on the recipe. Before being mashed together into a chunky paste, the vegetables are typically roasted over a wood fire, which brings about a unique smokiness to the sweet but tender relish, making it a great accompaniment to grilled meats. In Serbia and other Balkan countries like Bosnia, Bulgaria, Croatia and Macedonia, ajwa is a traditional way to preserve sweet red peppers from the summer's harvest. Every family has their own recipe that is handed down over generations. Some make it sweet and cook it down to intensify the flavor, some go heavy on the vinegar for a tangy sauce that is pureed smooth. Still others make it spicy and chunky. You can also buy ajwa ready-made in jars in supermarkets. They make for a great souvenir and present to bring from Serbia. Another famous and hugely popular spread is kashmak. Kashmak is a creamy dairy food similar to clotted cream made from the milk of cows, sheep or goats. It can be found all across Eastern Europe, in the Balkans, Central Asia and the Caucasus. It is usually enjoyed as an appetizer or for a weekend breakfast, especially on Saturdays, which are market days, and the kashmak is freshest. But it's also used as a condiment. A simple but delicious combination to be found in Serbia is fresh lipinja bread filled with kashmak. It's also used as a topping on pliskavica and filling in kara georgieva schnitzla, both of which we had covered earlier. It's time for more meat. Originating from Letzkovac, Serbia, Letzkovacki was, is a popular barbecued meat dish that is usually more of a feast than a single dish. It consists of a variety of meat dishes and sides, and each meat dish is followed by another one. Typical dishes of Les Kovacki was include chibapi, priskavica, stuffed pork loin and sausages, often accompanied by the piña flatbread, baked beans, french fries and various fresh salads. The name of the dish means Les Kovac's train, which only stops once you tell the staff that you can't eat anymore. I went for a somewhat lighter version that only included grilled beef and chicken meats. With so much meat, you may ask, what about fish? I found there is excellent fish in Serbia too. I particularly enjoyed the grilled fish dishes that you can find in many menus and restaurants across Serbia. Fish is not at the level of popularity as chibapi or pliskavica, but I found it a yummy alternative. It's typically served with kashmak or tartar sauce, fries and salad. Gudash has its origins in Hungary, and if you haven't watched my food video on Hungarian food, I highly recommend you check it out. For many years, large parts of Serbia were part of the Hungarian Empire, and thus one still finds culinary influences from that time, especially in the Vojvodina region of northern Serbia. I had some excellent gulash during my visits in Novi Sad and Subotica. Pecheni is a term that essentially translates to roasted meat. This encompasses meats like roasted beef, whole lamb joint or goat and is typically found in big celebrations like weddings or birthdays, but also served in many roadside restaurants. Pecheni can sometimes be a bit greasy, especially when served cold, which is not uncommon. I had some excellent lamb pecheni on my way from Kruševac to Uvac Canyon at the roadside restaurant in the central south of Serbia. Slatarski sir is a traditional Serbian cheese originating from the Slatar Mountains near Ubac Canyon in Western Serbia. The cheese is made from raw cow's milk or sometimes a mixture of cow's milk and sheep's milk. This rindless cheese has a semi-hard texture and is usually cut into thick slices before consumption. The aroma is pleasant and floral and the flavor is mild, slightly salty and milky. The floral notes come from the milk because the cows graze in mountain pastures that have a unique and diverse flora. 
Tatarski sear is usually left to age for three weeks for up to two months before consumption. I found it especially tasty combined with fresh tomatoes and bread. Rebanats, also known as pajuli, is a Serbian baked bean dish which is prepared with white or brown beans, onions, bay leaves, carrots, leeks and other vegetables and of course sweet Hungarian paprika. Some recipes include smoked meats, but the meat can be omitted. It doesn't have milk, butter or eggs, so it's ideal during fasting time. It is a typical dish in Serbia, Bosnia, Albania and other Balkan nations. It is a hearty thick stew dish and was originally eaten by farmers during the winter months. Prebenac is usually served hot with crusty bread. Let's get to my final food tip for Serbia, another legendary southeastern European dessert, omajice. Omajice are syrup drenched pastries that are superb sweet but also very flavorful. This Ottoman Turkish treat can be found in Serbia as well as Bosnia and Herzegovina and other parts of former Yugoslavia. It is typically prepared during the Islamic holidays including the Eid holidays. So here we go. These were my top 20 tips for the best Serbian food and some of the best dishes you can find in Serbia and across the region. I hope you found this Serbia food travel video inspiring and useful. And if you did, please give me a like down below and also check out my other videos on beautiful Serbia. If you enjoy tasty local traditional food and are interested in what to try in Europe, please also check out my other food videos, which you will find on my food playlist. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel to get notified about my weekly uploads and more travel videos in beautiful Serbia and many other amazing travel destinations. I will see you next week's video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.